For this uh, video, magbibigay tayo ng uh, sample problem on uh, biaxial deformation. So, basahin lang natin yung problem statement. Dito meron tayong welded steel cylindrical drum made of a 10mm plate. That's an internal diameter of uh, 1.2 meters. Compute the change in diameter that would be caused by an internal pressure of 1.5 megapascals. Assume that the Poisson's ratio is 0.3 and E is 200 uh, gigapascals. Okay, ito yung drum natin. Ito yung internal or internal ba? Internal diameter nga. No? So, ito yung internal diameter na 3.5 uh, 1.2 meters. No? So, 1.2 meters na internal diameter. Sa loob daw, meron kang fluid dito. Uh, so, fluid talaga siguro no? kasi merong pressure. No? So, pressure caused by your fluid is 1.5 mega pascals. So, baka gas yung nasa loob nito na nag exert ng pressure dito sa walls natin. So, ang wall natin is uh, 10 mm. Uh, 10 mm yung dimension. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin dito is ang change in diameter. Tama ba? The, compute the change in diameter. So, yung change in diameter natin, yung, uh, take note na yung diameter natin is nasa x na direction. No? So, ito yung length bali ng uh, drum. Ang diameter naman niya is... Uh, uh, nasa x direction. So, essentially, yung change in diameter natin is yung deformation natin along the x axis. So, kung ano yung uh, deformation na mangyayari dito, kasi mag expand yung drum natin. No? Dahil sa pressure na ano, tumutulak dito sa walls natin, uh, actually, yung pressure natin dito, tumutulak siya sa dito, tsaka dito. No? So, kung maalala mo yung thin wall pressure vessels natin. Meron tayong tinatawag na tangential and longitudinal pressure no? or stresses which are caused by your longitudinal and tangential na pressure. Yung internal na pressure natin na 1.5. So, meron siyang pressure na uh, na-apply dito. Meron din siyang pressure na na-apply dito. So, yung change in diameter natin dahil dun sa uh, pressure na along the x direction. Okay? So, change in diameter is the deformation in the x direction. So, in anticipated natin dito na positive yung change in diameter, di ba? Kasi may expand Okay? So, equation natin for strain, especially in the x direction, is strain x is ito, no? Uh, dun sa inintroduce pa lang natin yung shear deformation na uh, lesson, meron tayong equation nito, no? That the strain is just a uh, uh, the ratio of deformation divided by the length. Okay? Dito, uh, again, sabi natin kanina, yung change in diameter is yun yung deformation natin sa x. Ito na yun, no? Delta D is as equal to deformation x. Tapos, ang original length natin is yung original na diameter. Okay? So, uh, transposing D to the other side, we'll have delta D or the change in diameter is the strain x D. Okay? So, Yan. Para makuha natin yung change diameter, kailangan natin kunin yung uh, strain x kasi given naman yung d. And then, para makuha yung strain x, gagamitin natin yung biaxial na deformation na equation, which is this one. Okay? Kasi biaxial lang naman ito, no? dalawang direction lang, x and y. Bago tayo magpatuloy, check muna natin kung uh, applicable ba dito yung uh, thin wall pressure vessels natin na equation, no? yung longitudinal stress at tangential stress. So, Sabi natin dun sa lesson natin nun, sa thin wall pressure vessels na uh, as defined, a thin wall pressure vessel must have um, thickness. Ito yun, no? Yung thickness niya is uh, less than one-tenth of your radius. So, compute lang natin, one-tenth of 600 millimeters. So, ito yung diameter. So, ang radius nito ay 600 millimeters. One-tenth is 60 mm, which is greater than your T equals 10 mm. So, pasado tayo dito sa thin wall pressure vessel natin na um, criteria. So, yun. Uh, diretso na tayo. No? So, again, yung uh, <laughs> stress natin at uh, x. X direction is yung tangential stress. Tapos, ang stress natin sa y direction is yung longitudinal stress. Yan. So, for longitudinal stress, which is in the y, pwede natin yung PD over 40. So, ito, review lang. Review nyo lang sarili nyo dito. No? Meron na tayong discussion dito. 1.5 megapascals na internal pressure, diameter is 1.2, tapos ito yung 4, tapos thickness. So, 45 megapascals. And I'm sure meron na kayong hint kung ano yung tangential stress. Since tangential stress is twice as your, twice as big as your longitudinal stress. So, 90 megapascals. Okay? Diba? Oh, so, recall nyo na lang. No? So, meron na tayong stress Y at stress X. Substitute na natin siya ulit dun sa equation natin kanina. Makukuha natin yung strain. 
na 3.825 times 10 to the negative 4. So, substitute lang dito, no? Yung mga nakuha natin kanina na stre uh, stress, language yun lang sa tangential. So, ito yung tangential, ito yung language yun lang. Okay? And then, the 200 gigapascals is equal to 200 times 10 to the 3 mega pascals. So, kakancel yung mega pascals, ito yung matitirang strain x natin. Tapos, ibalik natin siya dun sa equation natin sa change of diameter. Change in diameter. So, makukuha na natin ngayon yung change in diameter na 0.459 mm. Ibig sabihin, positive na deformation. Gaya na sabi natin kanina, dahil yung pressure is tinutulak, tinutulak niya yung walls, so anticipated natin, expected na natin na positive talaga yung deformation, meron ka talagang uh, stretch na mangyayari dito sa, sa walls natin. So, ibig sabihin, lalaki yung deformation ay, Diameter. Lalaki yung diameter niya by this much. 0.459 mm. Pero maliit lang naman ito, no? mm lang. Wala nga siya. Hindi nga siya umabot ng 1 mm. Okay? So, yan na yun. Para sa problem na to. And, yun. Uh, pag hindi masyadong clear, but I think madali lang naman ito. No? So, yun. So, salamat ulit. And, yun. See you sa next na video natin. Thank you.